everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do just a very, I know all of them are supposed to be simple, but this is kind of showing you how to use the uh, flat brush and just making a really, really simple design. I'm using a number four, a magic flat brush. I'm going to be using two fountain brushes, a number four and a number ten. All these items will be linked down below. Some of them are affiliate links, others are just links that you can find the product. And then a fine liner by Westonia. All the paints I use are folk art paints. I'm using teal topaz, French blue, cobalt hue. And it's not blue, it's not cobalt blue, it's cobalt hue, yellow light yellow ochre and fresh foliage okay so to begin with we're going to take the number 10 fountain brush dip it into the yellow light and i just did this design on paper so this brush might be a little wet but i'm going to come through here and just create some designs or centers actually for my designs and I'm just going to do five. I did a lot more on my initial uh, drawing, but I'm just going to do this uh, five. Then I'm going to take the smaller fountain brush, dip it into the yellow ochre. And again, I'm trying to make sure it's open. Not sure how, how well, but I'm just going to tip it inside the center of these. Now, I don't care if I'm not trying to center it. I'm just trying to get it into the center, if that makes sense. I want it off center as much as possible. All right, so I'm going to put the brush on the chisel edge. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the cobalt hue, a little bit of the French blue, and blend them together. I'm on the chisel edge, so I'm just going to come out from it and just do some really, oh, just real simple, just pull it, just like you're making a line. So I say you can do a lot of painting with a flat brush. That's probably why I tend to do gravitate towards a, a flat brush because I could create so many of my designs this way. But you can do your stems, you can do lines, do all kinds of things with it. You know, your leaves, your flowers, even just one, one brush, in all honesty. And I'm trying to minimize the amount of paint I have in my brush because I don't want the lines to be real thick, but I could press down and make them thicker if I wanted. This is the kind of thing where you just take a brush and see what all you can do with it. See what kind of designs you can create with it. How many ways you can use it because a lot of these brushes are very versatile. Very versatile. And depending on which way you have your brush, if you're going this way, it's gonna be darker. If you go this way, it's gonna be lighter. And this is just a very Oh, I don't want to say abstract. It's not really abstract, but a loose, just fun design. It's not meant to be anything serious. Definitely not meant to be hard because it isn't. And if you're coming to my channel, I try to create, I am going to be creating florals. That's what you're going to see here on my channel. Majority of the time, sometimes I do throw in some just random design, but more so you're going to see just, you know, florals. If you don't like florals, then my channel's not for you. All right, so I'm going to go back through, kind of fill it in. Now, this is where you could keep layering it if you wanted and make it full, or you could just keep it, you know, thinly spaced like I'm doing here and just you know keep it that way or you can just spend time layering it as you go 
and make it thicker, fuller. And my intent with this video is just to show you how to use the chisel edge of your brush to create a design. And that's fun. You know, again, it's not meant to be anything real elaborate because it's not. My channel is to focus on giving you all something simple to do where you can relax and create. And then you can expand your talent as you paint. You know, you'll get it. You'll find your way. All right, so that's how I'm going to leave mine. I'm not going to make them real thick. I'm going to take my fine liner by Westonia, stick it into these colors. And this is the teal topaz and the um, fresh foliage. And then I'm just going to put in my stems. And I just kind of pretend where I think they might be. Pull it down, put it on here, and I can even do all right. And this is going to be a very quick video today. And as far as the leaves go, I'm going to just do another, just kind of very easy line type of leaf. And I know this bottle is dark, so it may be a little hard to see, but I'm just doing lines towards the center. And with these, you can make them thick, thin, however you want to do it. That is up to you. Okay, and we'll just keep going up here. I can get into to this here, up into this stem, creating, and you can do different colors than what I'm using, because some of these, now that I'm doing it on this dark glass, I can see they're a little hard to see, but that's okay. But you're just doing with some funky leaves, making it easy. And you could even do these with the chisel edge of your flat brush if you wanted. You could also add in some white. You know, white helps make it stand out a little more. But I'm just doing it with these colors just to keep it simple. All right. And you could do more. I'm going to just leave it at this for today. And keeping it simple. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.